The Maryland football forecast looking mighty good with a fine recruiting class ranked in the top 20 in the nation coming in just a few weeks ago. We bring in Ryan Connors from Testudo Times, the SB Nation platform for Maryland Athletics, talking Terps and talking football. I know that uh, the basketball season's looking good. You're in the top 20, looking uh, uh, strong for the NCAA tournament to a certain extent. But uh, we'll talk some football here, Ryan. Appreciate you coming on board. Perry Hill's gone, uh, definitely had his best season, 12 touchdowns, four picks last season. Caleb Rowe, a rocky up and down uh, career there with the Terps, uh, spot starter. Uh, he's gone as well, so a, a number of unfamiliar names to college football fans for the most part, but if you track Maryland recruiting, there's something to be excited about. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, with uh, local four-star recruit Kasim Hill coming in, that's really all all the talk about uh maryland's quarterback position right now they even had a uh they had an ad at a basketball game the other day with uh and hill was on it in front and center and you know it's the quarterback competition will be i mean third straight year it's not been totally sure who's going to get it for maryland uh it appears the top three contenders for it will probably be hill who i mean starting in the big ten as a true freshman is a is a big ask and uh, I think they're not going to do that if he's not ready. But they've been saying a lot of positive things about him. So uh, the other guy, the other two really are Caleb Henderson, who transferred from North Carolina. He's he's uh, from a local Virginia high school that's only about an hour away from Maryland. And uh, the thing is, none of us have seen him play. At, you know, none, if you're not a coach, you haven't seen him play in a couple years. So he's a bit of an unknown quantity at this point. But he was a four-star recruit coming out of high school. And then the other two guys are Tyrell Pigram and Max Bortenschlager. Both of them started games as true freshmen this past season. And uh, Pigram was the guy who captured fans' attention a little bit more. He's a, he's a dual-threat quarterback, and he's, he's got a like, surprisingly electric running ability. But he's a guy that, uh, you know, in a year or two, you could see potentially switching to some sort of slot receiver position. But uh, he'll, he'll, I'm sure, be given his fair share to take – the uh, quarterback spot as well. Yeah, you mentioned uh, Pigram and what he's able to do as a sophomore coming in. Uh, ran for 254 yards and four touchdowns. Obviously mobile. That's probably his best attribute at this point. 52% passer last season with a couple of picks and a couple of touchdowns. Uh, but this has to be the best shape that Maryland's quarterback situation's been in in quite some time. Obviously, that the proof has yet to be seen. But in terms of prospects, in terms of talent. Uh, the scouts love these guys. Uh, Kasim Hill, you, you mentioned the 10th rated quarterback in the country, according to 247 Sports out of D.C. Caleb Henderson, when he came out uh, a couple of years ago, was also rated as the 10th best quarterback in the nation out of Virginia. So uh, who knows if these guys can come through this fall, but obviously the, the trend is moving in the right direction for Maryland and specifically at this position. Exactly. And I think, uh, you know, next year, it'll be a big storyline going into fall camp. Oh, who's going to grab the starting quarterback position? But you're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, it's really, it'll be a big storyline going into next year, but it won't really be probably till the following season that we have a real grasp of it because whoever's starting uh, next year is still going to be very inexperienced. And, uh, you know, at quarterback, inexperience can be one of the biggest problems you can have. Right, Ryan Connors from Testudo Times breaking down the quarterback situation at Maryland, which may need to make its way through one more rough patch before us uh, making some real strides with some guys that can really play in 2018 and beyond. Uh, Ryan, we appreciate the time. Thanks.